Hi everybody. So I just watched the movie Birdman with Michael Keaton. And I feel like I have to do another little analysis video like I always do. Uh, trying to explain various uh, movies that are difficult to understand. But with this movie, oh boy, I don't even know where to begin. You know, in the past when I um, was trying to explain uh, various movies with different layers, I always felt like I was able uh, to give a satisfying explanation. But with this movie, uh, I don't. I don't think. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> the more I uh, think about. This movie and the more I try to analyze it and try to understand it the more I feel like this entire movie is mocking me like the entire purpose of this movie was just to make fun of people like me who are trying to analyze it of course um, there are a lot of uh, explanations and a lot of people you know have given their interpretations and there are many uh, different aspects many different uh, uh, viewpoints from from which this movie can be seen and from which this movie can uh, be interpreted and explained and there are a lot of people who have given um, various explanations and but but that's see that that's just a problem you know usually um, Usually with other movies, it's also like this. There are many different aspects and many different interpretations. Um, but you can usually, uh, you know, kind of narrow it down and, and say, okay, this explanation makes the most sense. But with this movie, all the explanations make sense. You know, and it seems, you know, they're, they're like, I don't know, maybe 20 different uh, ways that this movie has been explained. And, and, and that's just it. They all make sense. And if you watch the movie and you look for clues, you can find little clues for each one of those explanations. But here's the thing. They're all conflicting and they're all contradicting each other. Yet they also all make sense. Which, in the end, kind of means that nothing is making sense. But, um, in this case, I feel like that's, that's not by accident, but by design. I, I feel like they, they, they wanted it to be that way, you know. Um, and, and, and the more I, I try, you know, um, <laughs> I try to understand this movie, the more I feel like, you know, the guy who wrote this is just like laughing at me. And I think that maybe, maybe that was his point. I, I feel like, yeah, maybe that, that is the point. Um, of course, not at me personally, you know, uh, and, and, and not even at, at, at people who are trying to make sense of it and trying to explain it. But I, I feel like, yes, the, this movie is, is make, is making fun of critics you know uh, and yes yeah it is making fun of uh, um, yeah uh, professional reviewers who are trying to analyze it <laughs> so so um, the more you try to analyze it and, and look for clues uh, the more confusing it gets because the clues are all there but they're all conflicting so ultimately, uh, my explanation is that this is a brilliant movie <laughs> designed to incorporate the audience. You know, it, everything in this movie is is really uh, made to make the audience a part of the movie, and that also goes for people who are trying to analyze it, like me. Um, I feel like we're also part of the movie and we're the ones who get made fun of 
So ultimately, that is uh, my explanation. Uh, but you probably didn't come here for that explanation. You probably want a a more uh, <laughs> a, a a a more plausible, more more mainstream explanation. So, um, but but there there are so many. <laughs> I can't I can't even uh, I can't even mention them all. Originally, I wanted. Uh, to, to mention uh, uh, the most popular ones, but there are so many, and they all, they all, they all make sense, and but they're all conflicting. So I don't know. <laughs> I I I feel like I can't even get into that because once I do it, it gets too complicated. And I I feel there are so many um, red herrings in this movie, but they're not really red herrings. They, they do make sense. <laughs> um, okay, I, I'll try to explain it anyway, and just you know try to s stick with uh, with one e uh, explanation or try to make the most sense of it. Um, and in doing so, I will of course give away spoilers. So uh, if you haven't watched the movie, go watch it. It's a great movie. A lot of people say this is one of the best movies they've ever seen. I wouldn't go quite as far but it is a uh, it is a great movie it is uh, it is a very unusual movie of course <laughs> there like with any movie there were, um, or with any piece of art there were, you know there are people who love it or and, and there are people who hate it and this is one of those movies you, you know you, you either love it or hate it and I definitely love it but of course there are also those people who hate it and I feel like those people who hate it um, they were like kind of thinking, oh look, a a a, a new superhero movie with uh, Michael Keaton in it. Uh, <laughs> you know, oh Birdman, Michael Keaton does a superhero movie again. Great. Yeah. Um, the, the the people who who went into this movie with that kind of attitude, um, I feel like they were disappointed. Um, and they um they will tell you that this is a bad movie because it's not the kind of movie they were expecting you know they were expecting a superhero movie with a lot of action and stuff and yeah well it is a kind it is a, <laughs> in a sense it is a superhero movie but it isn't the kind of superhero movie uh, that people would expect um, you know with you know Michael Keaton and, and all so <laughs> um yeah, it's it's not the kind of superhero movie people were expecting. Actually, I think in a way it's it's more like it's actually more like an an anti superhero movie or an anti hero movie or an a super anti hero movie. I don't know, <laughs> but it's it's yeah, it's it's more like the exact opposite of of the usual superhero movie. <laughs> And uh, the funny thing is, the the movie even addresses that um, itself, um, you know, <laughs> and it, it it kind of addresses, uh, you know, um, you know, people wanting to see, uh, you know, those kind of action film filled superhero movies that they expecting and that, you know. Uh, and and <laughs> you know and and that that, that kind of um, leaves filmmakers no room to do um, to do you know something something they really want to do something that is that can be considered art and I feel like this movie yeah could be considered art so for those people who uh, expect a a action filled uh, superhero movie they will be disappointed. But if you go into this movie expecting a, a kind of like, you know, art house movie, um, I think then you will not be disappointed. <laughs> so, um, anyway, uh, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's a great movie. Um, I will, as I said, I will try to explain it now. It's really difficult to explain. <laughs> Please excuse me if I, you know... Uh, take if I need several um, tries um, <laughs> explaining it because it's really really difficult I I feel like I, I already explained it um, 
but I, I, I feel that the explanation I've, I have given so far is not satisfactory, so I will try to explain it in a more conventional way and you know um, but that's just it uh, <laughs> I feel like uh, the conventional way of trying to explain this movie is a is kind of yeah it's, it's a bit of a red herring but uh, uh, I guess I have to try so um, as I said spoilers okay so the way I see it uh, Michael Keaton's character died in this movie um, yeah most of the explanations you know that people have kind of tend to agree with that of course there is, you, you can also look at it and, and say he didn't die um, but I feel like ultimately he did commit suicide I, I, I feel like he did um, well yeah, well, well, at least, at least in a in a physical sense. Of course, it depends on the perspective you're looking at it. Obviously, if you um, see it from his daughter's perspective, that's not what she sees. You know, um, she obviously sees him floating. Uh, so, in a sense, yes, he didn't die, but. In another sense, he did die. You know, from I, I feel like from an objective perspective, he did commit suicide. But of course, from the perspective of his daughter, uh, he did not, because uh, he kind of uh, uh, gave her his gift, you know, uh, or his curse, or his mental illness, whatever, whatever you may call it. Uh, and so she is able to see him floating, flying. Maybe she's also able to see Birdman. And um, there are some hints to that. Uh, for example, her, um, her, she has a uh, bird tattoo. Uh, so I feel like from her perspective, um, he didn't die. She sees him floating. Uh, but I feel like that if somebody else were to walk into that room, they probably wouldn't see him floating. They probably would see him. Yeah, would they? Would they see him on the bottom of the? Uh, you know, on 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 on, on uh, at the uh, you know on, on the ground, lying there dead. Probably. Then again, probably not because uh, for me the real question is not. Did he die or not? Because I feel from an objective point of view, he did commit suicide. The only question is, when did he commit suicide? <laughs> and, and that's where it gets really tricky because the whole time I'm trying to figuring out not if he committed suicide, but when, when did he commit suicide? Because there's so many <laughs> that, you know, this is what I mean that the, the, the movie is 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 playing with me and making fun of me <laughs> because uh, I, I could make out at least five instances where he could have committed suicide he could have of course that's the most obvious one uh, uh, he could have jumped out of the window at the end uh, but I, I, I feel that isn't really a satisfactory explanation because as, as many people have also pointed out um, it's kind of almost like a, a mistake that they showed that uh, the window in, in, a, in, in a hospital on, I don't know, like maybe the, the, the 20th floor or something, uh, uh, you know, that you could just open that window and jump out, especially since he was hospitalized because of trying to commit suicide. You know, you, you would think that if somebody gets hospitalized because of committing suicide, they wouldn't, you know, exactly put him on the 20th floor of a skyscraper with the windows unlocked, you know? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, that could be a goof or, or a mistake, but I feel like it isn't. 
because this is not the kind of movie that that makes mistakes. Because you can really tell that、um, the script is really well thought out. Uh, uh, so I, I feel like that's not a mistake. I feel, you know. So then I thought, well, maybe that's because that entire scene at the end could be his、um, dream, his delusion, or like some people have said, he went to heaven. So because obviously he could have also died、uh, when he shot himself on stage. So maybe after he shot himself on stage. He died, and everything else is is his dream, maybe, or maybe he's in heaven, you know. Because after that, it's it's kind of like all his dreams get fulfilled. Everything that he longed for gets fulfilled. So it feels kind of unreal. Uh, so uh, yeah. So it also makes sense、uh, if you interpret it that way that、um, he uh, died. Uh, Uh, when when he shot himself on stage, but <laughs> but、um, then again there is another scene before that where he's on、uh, on a building and where's he where he's jumping down the building and maybe he could have also killed himself there and because after that. It also kind of, you know, things start to go his way, and his dreams kind of get fulfilled. So maybe he already committed suicide when he、um, when he jumped off the building the first time, you know, not out of the window, but before that and before he shot himself when he when he jumped down the building. So maybe he has already been dead since then, and that also kind of makes sense because, as I said. Things already kind of start to go his way, and the way he imagines and dreams uh, uh, after he, he jumps down、uh, the, the first building. So maybe he, he already did, died then and there, which also kind of gets reinforced by the fact that after that scene, we see a lot of flowers.、Um, you, you know, his his、uh, his his whole. Dressing room is full of flowers. Now, of course, those flowers、uh, come from the people admiring him, which is exactly what he was wishing for, having people admire him. But then again, those flowers look also very similar to the flowers、uh, that are given to him in the hospital. And、um, as someone also pointed out, one of the flowers,、uh, or no. The flower, you know, there, there is one, there is a, a flower that his daughter、um, picks out for him and gives him、uh, in the hospital scene, and that flower is a flower that is usually given to the dad. So、um, that also kind of tells me that yeah, well, he could have died.、Uh, he could have died in the hospital at the end. And 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 the, and and those, those flowers could be a sign for that. But you see the same kind of flowers in the dressing room after he jumps down the first building. So that could also be a sign that、um, he could have died after that already.、Uh, or you can go even further back. You can say that kind of like you know in the sixth sense,、uh, he's dead. The entire movie, which also makes sense, because when you、um, when you look at this movie, there is a lot of stuff happening that normally wouldn't happen. You know, like him floating in midair, like right at the beginning of the movie, and, <laughs> and there are a lot of lines that kind of hint to the fact that he could be dead. You know, when he、um, and that that was a technique that was used uh, in the uh, uh, in the other movie that I talked about,、uh, Perfect Blue.、Um, and that is in Perfect Blue, you also have a、uh, well. In Perfect Blue, you have it's、uh, Perfect Blue is also is is about an actress, and、uh, nothing in Perfect Blue is real except for the the play or 
the movie in, in Perfect Blue. It's a movie. Uh, the movie the actress is playing. That's that's what is real. So it's kind of like this inverted reality. And you also ha kind of have that in in this movie. Um, I I feel like that's not the real explanation. But I feel like uh, the writer was aware of that technique and uh, kind of incorporated it, it as well. Because when you look at uh, the stage play they're playing, uh, a lot of the lines uh, uh, seem to, uh, you know, reflect his his dilemma, reflect his life and his thoughts. And a lot of times in the play, uh, he will he will say something like none of this is real i'm not really here and he he will always repeat something like that you know none of this is real i'm not really here so this could you know kind of mean that yeah maybe none of this is real and he's not really here you know <laughs> so um maybe he already died uh well he maybe he's already dead the entire movie you know um uh, and as I said, that would explain those supernatural occurrences, um, you know. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it would also uh, see. Um, so there is, it, it it does make sense, and that is actually explained as well. Uh, namely, when he um, talks to what is it, his his wife, his ex-wife, uh, or, or whatever. When when they talk, yeah, I think it. It, it is his ex-wife, right? When, when he talks to his wife or ex-wife, um, he mentions how he tried to kill himself, uh, how he tried to uh, drown himself in the sea, and that was before any of that happened. Uh, and at the beginning of the movie, we see a really, really short glimpse of that sad beach. And at the end of the movie, we see the beach again. So uh, I kind of feel like that also totally makes sense that he died before the movie even started and that all of this is just his, I don't know, dying dream or maybe he's in heaven, whatever, you know, that also makes sense. So uh, <laughs> all these explanation make sense, uh, explanations make sense and those, those are just, you know, uh, the ones... Uh, trying to determine um, when he died when he died you know there were also other explanations that say he didn't die at all and there are also other completely different ways of looking at this movie and interpreting this movie so but 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 just just uh, uh, when it comes to assuming that he did die it already gets that complicated and there's so many different uh, 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 ways to look at it and and so many different uh, uh um, points in time when he could have committed suicide it it gets really really confusing and i feel like they as i said i, I feel like they did all of this in on purpose you know <laughs> you know um just uh, you know just to um mess up anybody who's who's trying to analyze this movie. Uh, but no matter if he died or not, I, I, I feel it's both correct. You can look at it and say he didn't die and you can look at it and say he did die and you can uh, say he could have died at any of those moments. Uh, so that actually all makes sense. Um, but I, I, So I, I guess it's not important when he died or if he died or not I, I, that's that's all correct no matter how you look at it i i feel the um well the important message is uh, of, of the movie is I, I i guess well i guess that's also very you know it varies from the individual viewing it um but i i feel like everyone who's who watches this movie feels like he's really immersed in this movie and i guess that's the point you know uh, and uh, and he can really feel you know the 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 emotions of the characters and, and what they're going through and and and, and it, it everything in this movie is made in a way that makes it really relatable so 
I guess、uh, I guess that's the point. Or maybe maybe the point is、uh, like the the quote says. You know the、uh, quote at the beginning of the movie,、uh, which actually is a real quote、um, from、uh, Raymond Carver's uh, uh, tombstone. Uh, yeah, and and it says, "And did you get what you wanted from this life? Even so, I did. And what did you want? To call myself beloved, to feel myself beloved on you." I guess、uh, that's really、uh, what the main character wants、uh, all along, you know.、Um, and uh, uh, some people in- interpret his flying in that way, you know,、um, that um, when he uh, uh, when he gets what he wants and when he feels beloved, then he feels like flying. That that's what his flying, his being able to fly, symbolizes.、Uh, that's why、um, at the end he's able to fly, and that's、uh, that's also why his his his, his daughter、um, uh, is able to see him fly, probably because she you know she started to believe in him, which she didn't do before. She started you know to understand him, to see things from his. Perspective.、Uh, in that sense, it's kind of similar to the other movie I recently talked about,、uh, Take Shelter. You know, but the whole point of the movie kind of was that at the end,、uh, his family was able uh, uh, to relate to him, and in, in the same way,、uh, his daughter at the end of this movie is able to relate to him to understand him, something she couldn't do、uh, at, at the beginning of the movie. I'm I'm sorry I talked so much, but、uh, it wasn't really possible to、uh, do this much quicker. There is actually so much more I could talk about. So many things in this movie that I haven't covered. <laughs> I feel like、uh, one could easily write a、uh, write, write one's、uh, diploma just on this movie. <laughs> so.、Um, Yeah, go check the movie out if you haven't. I I've given away the spoilers now, but it's, uh, uh, but there are so many things I haven't covered. So even if you have watched,、uh, even if you have、um, listened to my spoilers now, uh, uh, go watch the movie if you haven't seen it. And if you have seen it, go watch it again because there's so many things I haven't covered, and 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 